Newton's second law is the equation that states the net force is equal to the mass of an object multiplied by its acceleration. In order to plug in numbers for the equation for a word problem, there are a series of steps to follow. The first step is to draw a free body diagram. How to do this will be explained later in the video. Next, identify the acceleration in the x, which is the horizontal direction, and the y, which is the vertical direction, to plug in for the problem. Now, plug in your values of mass and acceleration for your two equations, and remember that acceleration can be different in the x and y directions. Then you can solve. Now, we'll try an example. A girl is pushing a 100 kilogram couch with an acceleration of 0.8 meters per second squared. There is kinetic friction of 25 newtons. What is the total force needed to move the couch? For our first step, we will draw a free body diagram. A free body diagram is a diagram that shows how different forces act on an object. First, we need to draw a box. Then, we will place arrows pointing outward in all of the places where forces are acting on the represented object. Now, recognize that the arrow labeled push represents the force that the girl creates pushing on the box. This force creates a kinetic friction force, making it harder for her to push the couch. Also see, the normal force and the weight force cancel each other out. So in this case, since there are no unbalanced forces acting in the y direction, we don't need to make an equation in the y direction. Since net force is equal to all of the forces in the y direction added together, we can write Instead of net force equals mass times acceleration, we can write kinetic friction plus the push force equals mass times acceleration. To plug in the correct values, note that friction is negative because it acts in the opposite direction of the velocity. Our equation is now negative 25, which is the friction force, plus the push force equals 80, which is the acceleration of 0.8 multiplied by the mass, 100. Now all we do is solve, and we have successfully used Newton's second law to solve a problem.